hmm, today seems like one of the better days in the bride. A nice juicy thumb that'll feed the family for a whole week. Go. The fawn sees the hunter and runs into the forest. As the fawn walks through the forest, he sees a, he sees many creatures, including owls, birds. The lowly fawn scares and gets scared by many animals, eventually emerging out of the forest, facing a giant mountain peak. Oh. Wow, these are some big, some of the biggest mountains I've ever seen, and a lot of mountains. Go. Knowing that she could climb the mountains, she does. She slips halfway through and nearly falls to her death, but catching herself. So. Go. That took longer than expected. Go. Well, only because you walked, said a mysterious voice. Go. Wow, who said that? No need to be afraid, little one. Go. Who are you? I'm a friend. A friend with wings. Go. I'm going to a new island. Would you like to come with me? Go. I've seen many islands. I would enjoy to accompany. I would enjoy accompanying you on your journey. Go. Nice. Well, let's go. Go. Scene three: The oceans. After finding a boat, the pair set off on their journey. After a day on the boat, they realized they had no food left for them. Go. We have no food. What should we do? I will go and find some food. Just sleep until tomorrow. Go. Okay, good thing. We will now have food or we will starve. Go. The griffin flew away with the fondest in the sleep. When they arrived at a deserted island with one single cake, started raining. We need to find shelter or we'll get rained on. Go. We need to find shelter. Why do we need to again? Go. Because the lightning could hit us pretty close and it could be very dangerous. That is the real reason why. Go. Um, Griffin, it's because you can't fly like in rain like bees. Can't I? Can't. And I can't get sick from the rain. It says on your breath. The rain is so mean. What did you say? Go. Um, I said this is not okay for anybody.